I just wanted to shine a spotlight a little bit on the commissioner to my left, uh, Aneshka Dixon, who doesn't really like that, but that's too bad today. We're going we're gonna to thank you. Um, Commissioner Dixon was reappointed to the PDC board on July 3rd. In, in her real life, she's not only the mother of three boys, but uh, is also chief financial officer uh, at Colas Construction, where she's a, a partner and uh, her offices are within a couple of blocks. So needless to say, uh, without this job, she's got a couple of full-time jobs already. And we, you know, there's a lot of demands for her time. And I'm, I'm very grateful for your continued service to the board and for the, the city of Portland. She brings a great perspective to the board from a small business standpoint. Um, she's been a, a great leader for uh, our neighborhood prosperity initiative and the Main Streets program. Um, and uh, her experience from a development from, from actually being on the ground and having to know what it takes to build something is, is very, very helpful. I know that being on the board takes a lot of time and energy. Um, I think that you probably serve as an inspiration to many young business people around the town and, and uh, it's hard work but I think it's gratifying work as well. So I look forward to working with you for the foreseeable future and again thanks for, for being with us. Thank you. I think when you know you are a public servant you tend to not want to brag about yourself and you just want to do your work and not really have to be acknowledged for it. So. Um, since I am not a public official and I don't have all prepared speeches, I thought I would just kind of write down some of my reflections to um, what the last three years have been like for me and, and what it means for me for the next three years. Um, because I'm so busy and there's so much going on in my life, it's hard for me to, to really have the chance to reflect on a lot of what I do. It just happens. And then later I would look back and I'm like, oh, wow, I did actually do something during that time period. So it was kind of nice to have um, the opportunity to be able to reflect on some of that work. So I'm just going to read off what I, what I kind of think the last three years have been. Um, my first three years here at PDC, we were faced with many difficult circumstances. And as a board member, I remember some of the first meetings that we had and just thinking, oh my gosh, what did I get into? There's just so much going on here. And it was just one level of trauma and uh, stress after another, especially when we had to have our first layoffs. And, and that was really challenging for me because I understand how difficult it is to you know, lose a position and to lose your job and, and what that means to staff and the morale. And so it was something that I took to heart, even though when I had to be here in front of the board, it was, it was difficult to be able to make um, that case because we also had to be leaders here on our end. And, and I think that's part of what I've really appreciated is the wonderful leadership I've worked um, with these fine gentlemen around me. Um, I would not have been able to do it without all of them and their support and making me feel like a part of the team um, is definitely why I was able to kind of continue on and, and, and do this next term. Um, for me, I think that the good work is especially important in the neighborhoods and in small business development. And through our policies of equity and sustainability, which are near and dear to my heart, this agency, we must be the leaders in regards to equity because this is how we give back the most to ensuring that we are all getting a fair chance. We must push ourselves to work and to do more in regards to achieving those goals in order for our city to stand out from the rest. I just cannot stress how important that is. And that's what my position here and what I hope to bring in the next three years, just that continuous look at equity and, and how important it is. And it, it's something that benefits all people. It's not just one class of people. Um, I'm really honored to be reappointed by Mayor Hales and the City Council to a second term. I thank Chair Andrews and his wonderful leadership in this organization and my fellow commissioners for their contributions to this work and including me as part of their team, as well as the strong leadership of Patrick Quinton, who has done so much in such a short amount of time in regards to pushing the mission of this agency forward. Um, 
being a lifetime Portlander, I appreciate the opportunity to serve in a leadership position with an agency that makes a real difference in the lives of Portlanders and residents every day. Um, I'm not going to lie, I had reservations about a second term on this board, um, and when I, met to, when I met with Mayor Hills about the reappointment, I talked to him. Um, one of the key items that we discussed was my ability to juggle managing a business and a family and young boys that have many demands as they're in school now, as well as, like my husband says, lastly, being a wife. <laughs> so... Um, I have to take that into consideration, and when I commit to something, I tend to want to give it my all, and I've learned that, you know, I can only give it the best that I can, and, and sometimes that will just have to be good enough, and I, and I really hope that um, my best will be pushing for, you know, equity and sustainability and supporting small businesses and our neighborhood work that we do. That's so important here, and so... I just, you know, I don't want to go on and on. I already feel like the spotlight has been on too long, but um, I'm proud of the projects we've completed. I'm proud of the partnerships that we've forged and the initiatives that we've addressed during some really difficult economic conditions. Um, definitely my industry of construction is picking up, but I think a lot of times it's picking up for the larger firms first, and so I want to see there be... Um, opportunities for the small to mid-sized firms to also be a part of this new um, economic development that's happening and that, you know, we're considered to and we're getting a fair level of opportunity. So again, I always keep small businesses in mind and my thoughts when we make decisions here. Um, Portland is a city where greater than 90% of businesses are small businesses, so it is extremely important for PDC to continue to provide support for neighborhood business development and to support programs that benefit small businesses throughout the city. And I just can't stress that enough. And I thank all of you for, again, including me as part of the team here. Um, I'll be sad when anyone that you know I've been with does decide to not be on this board because I think it's been a really amazing, dynamic board. We all bring a really unique perspective to the, the board and to the agency, and so... I just I thank all of you guys because I wouldn't be able to do anything without without all of you. So thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.